and selfish desires. Now and again, maybe I do something for someone else. But the goal is that I feel good about myself afterwards. And there's just no place for God. And we might even call ourselves Christians and do this. We just make decisions on what is wise, you know, wisdom of the world. Invest our money in the right places. Don't give money away because that wouldn't be wise. But just so then then something happens and then the rain comes. What could rain be? Rain. Problems. The coronavirus is a good example of rain. No one expected it and it just caused havoc. And what happened to the house, guys? It fell down. It fell down because my life was not based on the rock of God. Now I come and I, I make decisions based on God. I am obedient to him and that's what guides my life. Coronavirus comes and who do I rely on? I rely on my rock, Father God. He is the one that I cling to. No, it didn't fall down. And it didn't fall down. We don't have to fall over because we cling to God and he is a rock. He doesn't move. Good day. I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration that Ames did with the kids. I think it's such a beautiful demonstration. And when I was looking at it, I was thinking, yes, we all, we all know the song. We all um, can sing that song backwards. No, actually, I don't think I could sing that song backwards, but maybe you can try <laughs> damage your tongue in the process trying to sing that backwards. But we all know the song and we all uh, have for years sung it and and we would all if we looked at our lives say yes we are people who live our lives on the rock that we build our houses on the rock and that rock of course is jesus christ and there's nowhere else to build and that's what uh, paul says in his letter to the corinthians that that uh, we he builds as an expert builder um on the foundation of jesus and there's no other foundation that we can build anything that lasts anything else built on anything else will of course fall over but I, as i was listening to that i was challenged in my heart to to think to myself yes i'm on the rock but am i always building i think sometimes instead of building on the rock i put out my armchair and i soak up the sun and uh, let the days go by without building anything for the kingdom i'll give you an example of that um there have been times where i've uh, been to the shops and uh, done some grocery shopping and cascades and as i come out the shops included in my shopping was some bread and milk and as i came out i just knew in my heart that i was going to be passing a man at the robot um who i've seen a number of times and uh, greeted a number of times and um, I know that that uh, I feel that God is prompting me to 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 stop and to get a, one of the loaves of bread out of the boots and give it to him on on the way past, and um, and bless him with that. And instead of doing that, I have taken the easy option and um, turned the car in a different direction and driven another way home so that I don't pass him. And uh, that was me choosing the easy option. That was me choosing not to build, but rather just to let the day pass by without taking that opportunity to build something of lasting value. Another opportunity arose today. Actually, um, Amy and the kids were out uh, having a walk this morning and uh, a gentleman arrived to connect our internet fiber and he was inside our house working. His name was Elias. and I just felt in my heart that I should go and encourage him and uh, speak to him. But I was on my laptop. I had my earphones on in the lounge and I was busy working and he was working in the other side of the house. And I just thought, no, I just need to get some work done. I want to just try to be productive while the house is quiet. And so I thought, no, I must just carry on working. But God wouldn't just leave me at that. And he encouraged me and I felt that I needed to stop what I was doing and go and speak to him. And I trust what I said was um, a seed of encouragement and a blessing to him. But in that moment, I chose not to take the easy option. I chose to uh, to actually build, not just to soak up the sun on the rock, but to um, actually go and build something of lasting value. So the challenge is for each of us today to not let the day pass, not just 
let the day go on, but look for an opportunity, big or small. It might be a moment of prayer. It might be a kind word or deed to someone. It might be a phone call to a friend or a message to a family member. It might be a cup of tea for your spouse or a, a game of cards with your kids. Whatever it is, I'd encourage you as the Lord leads you to be building that which is of lasting value. God bless you.